Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't have my tripod because that is in one of my market boxes which is in my boyfriend's car and I think my phone is slipping. But yeah, so it's it's in my boyfriend's car. So no tripod. This video is... Oh, yes, so this video is going to be me crocheting a belt bag for my D&D character that I will be cosplaying at MCM Comic Con in May next year. <laughs> I got inspired, I wanted to work on it, so I thought I may as well film a video, you know, get some content out of it. I'm looking here because it's, I'm filming this after I've like filmed everything for it, so I can see it, it's done. But yeah, so hopefully you guys like this video. So my character is a drow who, a drow fighter who worships Lolf. She's been cursed a bit by Lolf because of like backstory stuff with her dad. So she got cursed, so she's got a bunch of like spider eyes that go up here and like some other stuff which links to like the class that I chose. So she's really cool. Um, here's like a photo of her, like the art, one of the art pieces that I've got. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it's not too short and yeah, let's get going. <laughs> I have finished the lid, not the lid, the flap, <laughs> the lid, um, the flap of the bag, you know, that closes it and everything. So it's not going to be, the bag isn't going to be too big, like the width of the bag is going to be like as wide as th th this bit. I might make it longer, longer though, because it will hold, it's wide enough to hold my phone, which is the most important thing, because obviously I'll be wearing this to conventions, so I want easy access to my phone and then my like cards and stuff for when I spent too much money in Artist Alley. So, there's that. I've pinned it and stuff just to flan it out a bit. The pattern calls for single crochet. I did a half double crochet because single crochet was quite small. It was probably just the gauge. Do I do gauge swatches? No. <laughs> so I started it and I was like, this is gonna be quite small. So I've changed it to a half double crochet. And the same with the actual, uh, the base of the bag, which I will show now because I have started it. And then I was like, I need to film, so I should probably stop. So yes. So here's the bag so far. I'm gonna make it quite, quite big, I think, just so I can have my phone in there and then some space as well, just in case I needed to put anything else in there. But I'm literally just going around and around and around and around and around until I'm happy with how long it is. So let's get started. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook and I don't think I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna line the bag yet. Part of me thinks I probably should just because it's going to be hanging and then it will stretch and everything. So if it's lined, it won't stretch, like the actual bag won't stretch because the fabric will hold it like in place because uh, the fabric will be taking the brunt of it. So I might, I probably will line it. And I have so many other things for my, my shop that I also need to line. So if I can finish this quickly, then I can line them all at the same time and then that will be done. I can't believe I'm already starting cosplay prep for next year and the convention has not even been over for a week yet. Like I said, it's been three days since not even three days since uh, it ended <laughs> but um it was good and I had a great time for like being there for the full weekend so that I could do more than one cosplay and stuff so next year I want to do three cosplays and this is gonna be one of them so may as well get started now because I might be doing a full crochet like Pokemon cosplay it's not really gonna be like the legit Pokemon cosplay obviously it'll be just like an outfit like inspired by the Pokemon so I want to do that and we'll probably crochet most of that. So that's another big project as well as I need to get Atlas's uh, cosplay together. So that's why I've started quite early, but I'm having fun and that's all that matters. <laughs> anyway, enough chitter chatter. Let's get crocheting on this, crocheting this, get this sorted. And I hate sewing. I, I hate using my machine. It's faster. So that's good. It's like I won't sew anything big by hand, but I just hate having to get it out because I've got so much shit on my desk. But yeah, see you in a second when I'm crocheting. <laughs>
So, remember when I said I was going to line this? Well, when I was playing D&D last night, I got overexcited and sewed in the pouch for the for like my card and stuff. So, this isn't going to be lined anymore. <laughs> but I've added the belt bit. I did have a little hiccup here when sewing, but it's fine because it's going to go against me like that. So. Now I'm going to do some surface crochet. I want to do like white around the edge and then surface crochet like a spider web kind of design here. I have never done like proper surface crochet so we're going to struggle through this together. Wish me luck. It's a bit wonky, but this is my first time surface crocheting, so it's fine because the spider webs on perfectly straight, are they? <laughs> and it's it's gonna be covered. That's so annoying. I make the that's fine. At least you can see. So I hated how it turned out, so I've got one more option, and that is fabric paint. So let's see how this goes. So this looks a lot better than everything else that I tried. So let's just hope that it dries okay, otherwise I'm going to be so upset because I would have to remake the entire bag. <laughs> so here's the bag. I wanted to line it and then sewed in the extra pocket that I use that I'll use for my cards because I got overexcited before I sewed in the lining, so I can sew in the lining now that the thing is there. Anyway, as you saw, I really struggled with this. In the end, I did go with the fabric paint, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So yeah, and then on the back, the belt will go through here. Ignore that little knot; it's not really visible, so it's fine. <laughs> but the belt will go through here and it will hang on my waist like that. It fits my phone and it will fit my cards, that I'll, well, just a card, you know, the one that I'll be paying for stuff with, probably cash as well, and then little purchases that it will also fit, like if I get pin badges or pins or whatever. So yeah, I might decorate it a little bit with pin badges of artwork of her, uh, but yeah, that is the bag and I'm very excited to use it next year. But for now, I'm gonna need to put it in my cosplay box and leave it until like i said next year <laughs> but yeah hopefully i will be cosplaying her next year and i do really like how this bag turned out so if you like this video you like cosplay crochet and crochet for cosplay and things like that please subscribe because i've got lots of videos coming i have market vlogs that i do and stuff like that so like comment and subscribe and i will see you in next week's video